Welcome to another edition of 1994 March to the Finals. Alongside Knicks legend Walt Clyde Frazier, I'm Spiro Ditas. Clyde and I are back to take you through some of the most memorable games from a remarkable 1993-94 season. December 16, 1993 was an important day in Knicks history. It was the night that Patrick Ewing became the Knicks' all-time leading scorer and the man he surpassed is Walt Clyde Frazier. Clyde, you were in the building that night announcing the game. What do you remember uh, from the emotions of that evening? I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was very emotional. I never really thought I would be the career leading scorer in Nick history. Actually, I would not have been if not for the injuries to Willis Reed. So uh, it was something that they say records are made to be broken. And obviously, Ewing was, has put together a magnificent career as a Knicks, so I really paid homage to him in breaking my record. Pat Riley led the Lake Show through the Showtime era. The Lakers of 1993 weren't quite as dynamic, but with guys like Vladi Divac, Nick Van Exel, and Anthony Peeler, they could still put a pretty good scare into their opponents. Yeah, but they were young, inexperienced, and the Knicks were able to capitalize on that. We mentioned the physicality when teams came into the garden. They knew they would be hounded and pounded. So the Knicks asserted their will on this young Laker team and took them out of the game. On one other aspect of this game to keep an eye on, it was also the game in which an injury to a key member of the Knicks starting lineup changed the course of the season. Let's send you out to Madison Square Garden, sold out for the start of the Knicks and the Lakers. Crowd very quiet here at the start. Rivers cuts it to a two-point Laker lead. This is not a Laker team that has seen that frequently. Here's Oakley going for the hoop. Nicely done. And the game is tied at 10. The Knicks by 13. Oakley pegs it down to Ewing. That's the set play, and it works. Campbell for Ewing. Crowd knew it was coming, and it does. Patrick Ewing is now the Knicks all time leading scorer. Patrick Ewing's last basket has brought his career scoring total to 14,618 points. Patrick has just become the all-time leading career scorer in the 48-year history of the Knickerbockers. We've just seen Patrick Ewing become the all-time leading scorer in Knicks history, but the good vibes in the garden are about to disappear. Nick Van Exel is a second-round draft pick. Guy who saw his stock drop, he slipped to 37th in the draft. Not a good shooter, and that, that has hurt him. Rivers is hurt, holding the left knee. Before the season began, actually when Doc Rivers joined the Knicks, Marv, that was always the fear hanging over the head of Doc Rivers and the Knicks because they need him so badly, and that is, can he play at his usual effort without getting an injury, which has plagued him from time to time throughout his career. Potter, oh, beautiful move by Potter, went to the crossover and then to the stuff.